الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وبعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله I think this is our second meeting over the the topic of الطهارة so we're talking about the water which is used for the spiritual and ritual cleansing that prepares you that allows you and permits you to read to read Quran to touch the Mus'haf to do Salah and to do Tawaf and we are we are we've covered that that it's done with water and with الطهارة المائية والطهارة الترابية which we will cover later on when we speak about how we do that الطهارة المائية the purification using water and there's also purification using the stone or the surface of the earth الطهارة المائية this purification which is with water is 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 done with الماء المطلق الماء المطلق هو الماء الطهور الماء الطهور is الماء الطاهر لنفسه المطاهر لغيره so المطلق is the one that's unconditional that is not uh, tied to any uh, specific uh, quality or property it's water what we call as water and that water is طهور as the prophet said صلى الله عليه وسلم about the sea هو الطهور ماءه الحل ميتته الطهور ماءه it's water is طهور so what is الطهور Al-Tahur is defined as Al-Tahiru li-nafsihi Al-Mutahiru li-ghayrihi It is in itself pure It is in its Its state is pure But it is also capable to purifying others To purify you From 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 You know To be able to go and do your salah And also to purify you from Al-Najasa So Al-Tahiru li-nafsihi Al-Mutahiru li-ghayrihi <coughs> so this, this this is the water that we are talking about, and this state we want to define this as at tahuriya, at tahuriya. It's tahur, but when we are going to discuss this, the property of this water being capable to do such a thing, it's at tahuriya. Uh, so it's uh, just definitions. So we we are, we spoke about how <coughs> how this water is. Uh, re- Maintains its tahuriya, its properties of of, of tahuriya. And today we are um, speaking about, let's say, let's see, let's see, arza al ardi ka ma gharatin malhin aw bima turiha minha walau qasdan. So this water, uh, which let's say it's in a natural state outside in the basin, in the forest, uh, in the well, this water, as as long as it's natural. It it is it is tahur, it's got its property of tahuriya. Uh, whether it is a change, whether it has been changed, or uh, with anything but that that, that was natural. So a kamagharatin, which is an archer or or the natural uh, earthly pigmentation, it could be red or or green or blue, or from the salt or from anything that has been thrown in it, even if. Even if it was on purpose, so if the salt has been thrown in that basin of water on purpose, the mashhur of the uh, the preponderant opinion of the madhab is that it does not remove or alter the uh, the properties of of the water. Even if those three properties are changed, <coughs> it changed its color, it changed its smell or its taste. <coughs> its tahuriya it remains intact. أو بدابغ طاهر كقطران أو بما يعصر الاحتراز منه كتبن أو ورق ورق شجر. I believe we have covered this. So even if this water, its three properties that we've just mentioned, the smell, the taste, and the and the and the color, even if these properties have changed, أو with with the following بدابغ the tanning of the leather or the tanning of the, the tanning of leather or the tanning it could be done with different properties it could be done with uh, a fluid that is like tar, tar or something else or if this water has been altered if the properties of this water has been altered by something that is beyond our control like drop the the the, the like the leaves dropping on it, it's it had this basin or this river happens to be underneath the, the trees, or it happens to be close to the stable of animals. So the the straw that they eat falls 
in in the that water and it changes it so that does not alter its uh, its tahuriya and then he mentions here al-imam al-dahdir rahmatullahi alayhi he mentions uh, different uh, situations and because it's beyond our our capability or our uh, you know we cannot we cannot make those those changes because it's beyond our our control then it became it, it remains those, those it remains it uh, maintains its tahuriya wala in khaffa tahayyir wala in khaffa tahayyir bi alati saqin also also if you if we if we have if we're using that water for farming and uh, certain instruments have been used in the past he mentions the different forms of instruments and in, 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 in today as well if we meant if we have certain instruments that that alter the, those three part properties it doesn't it doesn't alter the tahoria okay so um, and i'm not going to go into the details here he mentions uh, the ducts the ducts or the <coughs> the huge ducts or the small ducts the metal ducts or the uh, cement ducts all of those if they do alter the water and we've uh, i think we've discussed in our halakas as well uh, outside of this video the um, uh, dropping the chlorine uh, those things do not alter the uh, the tahoria of the water and then we we have um, Another topic here. Aufima, aufima ju'ila fil fami. So now we are talking about a, a different, interesting condition where uh, these are very, very um, extreme situations which we don't see, but they are mentioning it just so that we have a, a full idea of what happens if it ha if, if it were to happen. So if if that water has been put in the mouth of a person. So if the saliva of a human being has been touched by this water, or the water has touched the saliva of a human being, will it change the water? If if it if it uh, changed it a little bit, it becomes makro. If we want to know, we want to know if if it if there there is a. Um, uh, a mental state, mental or, or perception, or perception. Are we are we for sure? So there's four levels that perception is is uh, built upon. Four uh, four levels. One is that you're sure. So yes, the person has touched it, and the change has been clear. That's certitude. And then the second one is dhan. The, the, we have to, we have touched we have touched with with the human saliva, uh, and then we're we're doubting, but most probably. So there's certitude, high probability, and then we have doubt, which is between uh, below fifty percent. So we have certitude, which is one hundred percent. We have um, below that, which is between fifty-five and ninety percent. That's called the zan, and then we have less than 50% which is a shek doubting and then we have wahm which is uh, you know you're just imagining it so the the water has touched the, the the saliva and then we are either sure that the water has changed and we are or we are doubting or it's highly probable or it's just an imagination so in case you're doubting in case you're uh, you're doubting that the change has happened then it is perfectly permissible to use that water. Inshallah, we'll stop here. We'll continue on on, uh, on this very uh, topic uh, on the next uh, clip. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.